Hi guys, today we are going to learn how to open Scratch 3.0 and do some projects in it. You can download it through the Play Store. Okay, now I'm going to show you. Yeah, so this is Scratch 3.0. As you can see this, so <clears throat> they give a default sprite. It's known as sprite one, and it's a cat. So first we have three sections. First one, the code of the sprite. Second, the costume. So these are some costumes. And last, the sounds. Okay, guys, now first let us learn about this. I'm going to explain a bit to you. Yeah, so Scratch 3.0 is, is a version of Scratch which allows more programming and tabs in it. For example, now you can see, so this is, the cat so it will do the sound meow let's see so this is the sound we can add sounds also through this we can choose a sound we can choose a sound through searching and we can even record it or we can surprise like suppose you click surprise sound then you get it like uh, you can get any animal sound next is can upload sound from your computer. These are all the options. First, let us learn about code. So basically in code, there are eight ty types of tabs from default. And the last one is my blocks. We can add our own blocks, but first let's learn about the tabs. So this is motion where I am in now. So it shows a group of codes written and next one is loops so you can scroll down directly or you can just click it here now suppose now my sprite is in 0x and 0y if i want it to go or suppose let us think 137x and Five Y, five, yeah. Let us see where does it go. We have to click. It's over there. So we can change like this by seeing where we keep. We want it here. We have to enter this. Yeah. So basically, it works like that. Let us now see about looks. It describes how the object uh, sprite should look. For example, you want to say it hello for two seconds. Say it's like that. But you are not able to hear it because it does not provide sound. If you want it to the next costume, you have to click this and you can change the costume, the costumes. It will automatically change the code. Next one is sound. Don't worry guys, I'll explain every block. But first let us it in short. So, until done. The difference between until done and start is nothing. They basically give it like that because until done means that I'll explain it to you next. So, you can even change the pitch by 10. Suppose you add both of these together and it gets like that. Okay. The next one is clear sound effects. So you can remove everything. And this one is change volume. This is set volume. I now to explain about all the blocks in every tab. Like this is a tab. And again, this is it. I want to explain all. I'll explain few. Then after explaining all of these, then I will explain every block. And now events. 
when clicked green flag means that this is the green flag go and red flag means stop so when you click green flag here whatever code is attached to it it will play it this is when the space key is pressed the space bar on the computer you must be having a doubt like if you have a phone what will you do yeah if you have a phone you will not two suspicions suspicions are there one you may not see this two it won't work and even there is a third one that is you have to click here or on the sprite or something and this one is specifically on the computer when the sprite is clicked okay i explain i explained a few let's go to the next tab this is control it shows you whatever like suppose you want to repeat it 10 times yeah so now i'm going to explain you the until done meow you asked that so now if we keep repeating so it will play until repeat 10 times is over until done this is not that much difference so if i say 10 times no 1 see it stopped so it works like that if then is this going to be necessary when i show you sensing so next one sensing let's go to that so this gives us the option touching mouse pointer so if touching mouse pointer then whatever actions we keep it will do that actions suppose everything is almost the same but some of them are not suppose mouse edge it it will be necessary i'll going to, i am going to show it after this one yeah let's go to the next one it's operators <clears throat> suppose these are operators for example we keep mouse x into it so this combines the both and play the place them so i'm going to show you how it will play now mouse by yeah we will yes now we have to place it in it let's see if it will fit no it won't fit because it works like that yeah it basically joins the both of them at one place suppose join apple and banana let's see apple banana it does that so now let me keep all of this here yeah now variables so we can create a variable like suppose we create it with the name cat it stores everything we can even secure variable yeah so next is my blocks you can make a, your own block and make it okay you must be having dot how what will happen how and what will happen if we make a block yeah if you make a block see this so block name suppose it's boolean we can easily name it so suppose hat yeah so let's see what this will do okay we did not yet complete let's make this hat and now okay yeah there's a block called hat define hat so okay let's see okay what is happening because we have to Explain to you all the tabs. So it shows an error when to delete a block. So to delete a block, block definition definition remove uh, first remove all uses of the block. So we have to remove all uses. Yes, and now we can remove this. Like this. Yeah. Let's go. No, it's not there. Let's remove all of this, and I'll explain you everything in detail now. 
Yes, let's start the motion. Move 10 steps, it basically move 10 steps forward. I'll show you how much it will move. So only that much, it will move in 10 steps. So you have to set it like 20, 15. But if you set it to 100, it may go. I'll show you what will happen. It will cross this and it will be there. Next, turn 15 degrees. So, yes, yes it will work like that. And this is the same left. Now go to random position. It goes to a random position, for example. Yes, it's not said that it will go exactly to the place, but it goes anywhere. <coughs> Next one. It's X, Y. I showed you already. Now glide one second to random position. Glide basically glues like that for random position. It's like it follows the path. Next. This is the same. Glide to X, Y, one, but I'll st still show you. It's still in the same position. Let us see. Yeah, now it will go. Yes. Now let us see the point in direction 90. Let's see what will happen. Yeah. It'll exactly point forward. Now the with this you can move this. It works sometimes, but it won't actually. It shows how it is. For example, I'll keep it here. Maybe let's do this. I'll keep the 15 degrees and it moves 15 degrees. Yeah. This shows our sprite in which we are. And even this one shows in which we are. So this is our sprite one. We can move to sprites when we add multiple sprites. But first, this point towards most pointer is when it will it will point towards me. See here. Suppose I will keep it here and will say it will point exactly there. Now change x by ten. Let us see what will happen. So x is in ninety four. It will change to eighty four. Set x to minus eighty four. It will go beyond. Yeah. Change by ten. Okay. Y by ten. So it is the same. Set y to ninety six. Same as x. If you want to try, you can try. Yes, now if on edge bounds, this function works if you are on the edge. Yeah, no, you're here, you're on the edge, two bounds. Yeah, let's see that. We will, I'll show you now the. Move 10 steps if on edge bounce. Let's set this to 100. Now, let's go to control. Keep the forever block. The forever block basically repeats the motion. It acts like a forever loop. Meaning it repeats it infinite number of times. Yeah, let's see this now. Let's keep the green flank button and now let's start it. So that's what it does. Now let us remove this and say if on edge bounce forever. Okay. Now let's stop this and make it go like this. Yeah. Green flag. So it's gone too far somewhere. Now let us say if on edge bounce. Yeah. See, it comes out of the edge, but not too much. <clears throat> now let's go to the next one. Motion. Yeah. Where were we? Yeah, we were on if on edge bounce. It was rotation style. So this is a rotation style. Now, this works as like this, okay. So now it is left side facing this side. So I can even change it. Now, if I want it 
don't rotate. It will be normal. If I say all around, it will go somewhere. Yeah. Now let's stop this. And now exposition. That it will say where it is. Direction is this direction. Next one is look, I have explained till here. This is this all is same. Now let's go till here. Switch costume to one. So this is costume this is one and it's two. It'll switch like that. So it works like that. And now it is next costume. It'll go to the next costume. So it's bad backdrop. This backdrop it acts like background. <clears throat> so we have to add a background. I'll show it show you after I explain all the blocks. Change size by 10. Now if I click here, it gets bigger, bigger, bigger. And if we type here minus 10. No, on green flag, yeah, it gets smaller, 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 and it's so small you cannot even see it. Yeah, that is the minimum size. Let me make it normal. So, this is again, I have to click it. Yeah. It may be a little bigger and smaller, but nothing will happen. Let me keep it back. Yeah. These are graphic effects. Suppose you have kept any graphic effects, like the background, be clear there. Show, if you do this, show and hide, I'll show you. See? Now hide, it's not visible, but it's still here. Now show, it will be visible. Now, go to front layer. So let's see what does this do. Okay, let's say back layer. So it goes to the layer, it goes to the background. Uh, first background and last background, not like that. So I show you in last, even this is needed. Go forward, go forward one layer. Even I will show you this in the last. So costume number, it basically shows the costume number and background number and size. So this is not needed because I told you this, when we click this, it shows where are the and etc. So now let's go to the sound tab. So play sound may have until done. I have told you to stop all sound. Let's stop all the sounds which are playing. This changes the tone and even this clears sound effects, clears all the sound effects and change volume by minus 10. It decreases the volume and increases the volume. Let's see. Now my volume is in 42. Let's say change volume by minus 10. Only this gets affected. Let's see if my computer is again there. Let me again plus the volume. Yeah, it was there. So only it changes this volume. Let me increase it two more times because I have pressed it. Yeah. Volume. Yeah, it's normal again. Now it shows how much volume we are. It shows 100. Yeah. Now I have explained till here. I'll, I'll explain you from here. When back, backdrop switches to uh, backdrop one, it'll do the following functions. So this is also needed. I'll show you when loudness is less than 10. So when our volume is less than 10, it can do the following functions and whatever we keep. When I receive message, message one, so message like hello in the loops. Yeah, hello for two seconds. When the message is received, there will be even a receive message one. Let us see. It will be like receive message. No, it's not there. So it means that whenever he says the message 
and if the opposite person receives it they will do the following functions broadcast message one so it will broadcast it will broadcast the messages broadcast message one and wait so it will wait after the function so let us check if here yeah wait one second you will keep it between a function suppose you are keeping forever loop then you have then you have you are keeping a function it goes so fast so but if you keep wait one second it goes a bit slow like i'll show you to next first now let's go loops Okay, now next costume, and I'll take green flag. So it's very fast. Now when you add, wait one second, it will be done like that. Okay, now let's go again to control. Yeah, repeat ten times. I explained and even forever. If then also have explained. If then else. So if suppose if it's yeah if. The, the sprite is touching the mouse pointer. If we keep a function like if sprite is touching the mouse pointer, clear graphic effects like this. Yeah, clear graphic effects. If sprite is touching mouse pointer, if touching mouse pointer. Yeah, but if it's not touching the mouse pointer. Else, what else it has to do? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. This solves aspect. I explained. Now let's go to the next one. This is wait until. So if we keep wait until touching mouse pointer, it'll wait until the mouse pointer is touching this, and then only it'll do the functions. The code will be there only after that. Okay, repeat until it is also same. Plus, it will repeat until suppose we keep touching mouse pointer. Repeat until touching mouse pointer. So it will repeat, repeat, repeat until if I touch it, it will stop. Stop all. This is used to stop everything in the end. That's why there is no attachment in, on the down part. When I start as a side as a clone, so it will do the function. Suppose create clone of myself now it has a clone when i start as a clone it will do the following functions okay now next is delete the clone delete this clone wait last one second i'll show you how it works wait one second and then when green flag is clicked delete this clone yeah green flag the clone is deleted yeah, you might you guys might be wondering why it's just yes, it can be anything. There's nothing like that. <clears throat> but clone will not have any code. <clears throat> yes. Now let's go to here. This our same. It's show the distance to the most point. Yeah, that much distance. When I click here. Yeah. Now. Let's see this. Ask what's your name and wait. It asks and then it will do the answer for the question. Key space press. If the space is pressed, it is used in a if loop. If key space is pressed, then it will do the following function. If not, then it will not. So if mouse is down, Mouse X, and I'll show that. I have already told you that. Now set drag mode draggable. Yeah. So let's see what this drag mode does. Now drag more and let's keep more 10 steps. Yeah. And let's keep the green flag. It's here. Yeah. The green flag. Let's yeah it'll drag so there are even modes in this not draggable it'll go without dragging yeah let's get him back
There is another way to get him back. I'll show you how. Yeah, he's here. It says so. You have to set it to one one eight. So you have to remember this. It will come over here. Yeah. See, it worked. It, he came here. So if you ever want him here, so remember minus sixty three and minus twenty six. If you keep the forever loop and it goes and you keep ten steps and it goes down and you're not able to make make it come up you can keep minus 63 and minus 26 so i'll get it here minus 63 x and minus 26 y and the next one is when loveness no we are not here yeah we are here no, we are here, right? right? Right now, let's go here. Yeah, we were over here. Loudness, it shows the loudness and timer. Let's see. This is the timer. Let me. It shows the time where I can reach, I guess. So, maybe it here and now see. So it's increasing. So it increases the timer, yeah. The timer, it's not needed now. You can use it if you need. Reset timer, it sets to the timer, it sets the timer normally. Backdrop of stage dash. So you can set it. We don't have any backdrop, that's why it's showing it that. And even volume, my variable, backdrop name. My variable, I told you already, yeah. Stay, this is the stage. You cannot stay, move it, uh, change it. This is not needed for us. Yeah, now current year, it's 2022. Days since this many days are happening. Yeah, it's not, it's showing nine in the last. Let's see again. It shows six because it's growing. So now username. Let's see what is our username. So now username. We haven't kept it. If you want to keep a username, you have to type it. You might be wondering where to type it. Yes, I will tell you how to type it and where to type it. And show you how to type it and where to type it in, a, in just a second. Yeah, <clears throat> now if we have to keep a username, we have to type it like I think here. Let's try here. He's not strike one. Let's keep him cat. It changes the name of the sprite. Yes, so it's coming cat again. Let's see if the username is coming. Yeah, you have to keep a username like it'll be, you have to type it. If you use the following blocks, you can get it like in sound, not in thought, like looks. Yeah, you can keep a username when you're typing. You need a username, you have to create it in my blocks. Okay, that is only what has to be done. 
Yeah, now we are in sensing. Yeah. Sensing is over. No. Operators, there is not much to learn in operators. You have you can plus this and this, minus, multiply and divide. Pick random numbers. It picks the numbers from 1 to 10, 10, 4, like that. And this is the data then this. You use it when in if then blocks. So in big big projects. But now we are just doing small projects. Yeah, in basic projects or small projects. Yeah, and join apple and banana, apple banana. No, little one of apple. Yeah, it finds all of them. And length of apple five letters. Apple contains eight rows. So it's all used to do when you're making a very big project. So this is a mod. There is no mod. Let's see. Type H type five, yeah. And this is yeah, let's see. The mod is five. Then five, five. So only the mod will be five. Yeah, round. Let's keep so this is round one. Yeah, I chose like that. So this is the floor, ceiling, and everything that is here. These are all used in big projects, not in small ones, which we are doing now. Okay, I have explained everything now. I told that these blocks are needed when we add a backdrop. Let's add a normal backdrop, for example. Yeah, now, okay. Now, I'm going to show you this in loops. Yeah, next backdrop. I will keep two backdrops, then I can go to the next backdrop. Yeah, next backdrop. See, now I'll go to cat. Not in cat, I have, I should not be in cat. I should be in the backdrops. So even this has a separate stage, like see backdrops. Next backdrop, next backdrop. It works like that. And this switch to backdrop one, backdrop two, like that it can switch. Now we can even change the color effects. Not of the. Let's go to next. Yeah. See the color effect, it's changing. So even we can change the color effect by 25, 100, etc. So now I'm going to create the graphic effects. So the backdrop is back to normal. And if I set it to 25, it will come like that. And again, I can clear it. So clear graphic effects, not not this change color effect. It's a very important one when you're trying to change the color. Like now it's like a bit night time. And now it's like noon. Now it's just like de decorational normal. Now same. Now yes, this is also same. Yeah, now again this is back to normal. Some of them look like night time or noon and afternoon. Yes. Now let's go to cat. So this is the explanation. And if you want to create the project, you can create it. Please like and subscribe if, if you like the video. And please even do share it. Thank you. Bye-bye.